Hello everybody, this is Tekka, and I did something kind of stupid. Not only is it stupid, it is dramatic and completely unnecessary, borderline unusable because of the weight and size of this thing, but this right here, you can see it work and the controller works just fine. This is my ultimate Steam Deck. And I'll tell you what, finding a controller that actually kind of worked with this, uh, use case that I had in my head was quite difficult. I'll get into that in a minute. The actual tablet here is the Minisform V3. I did cover this in a different video going over it being a pretty good Linux tablet. And that got me thinking, if this is a good Linux tablet, then it's probably a good SteamOS tablet. And thankfully Valve being the goaded company that they are has released a recovery image for SteamOS that you can install on just about anything. So we don't really need to use like hollow ISO or any of those other third party kind of rebuilds of SteamOS anymore. We can just use the recovery image and it just works. Used Etcher to burn the image onto that, threw it in, booted up to it, and the installation process was super easy. There's just a little installer. You pick your drive, you go through the process, and then when you boot into it, it's just like SteamOS on a Steam machine, really nice. When the actual tablet came out, it was about a thousand to 1200 bucks, but you can find it for around six to 800 bucks, depending on specs and all that. And the specs are actually pretty good for gaming. It's a 2K resolution by default, but if you do move it down to like 1080, it can handle most games just fine. It has a Ryzen 7 7735U in it, so pretty good integrated uh, Radeon graphics. It has 16 gigabytes of RAM, a one terabyte SSD, SSD, so you can actually store some games on it. The frame rate of the actual screen, and the screen is beautiful, is 165 hertz. Again, it is 2K. It's 14 inches with a 16 by 10 aspect ratio, 500 nits of peak brightness. So not the brightest thing in the world, but it still will work if you have it like outside or something in shade, not in direct sunlight. That Ryzen 7 processor has eight cores and 16 threads with a TDP of 28 watts and the Radeon 780 mobile processor. The RAM is LPDDR5 at 64 megahertz. And I did actually forget the specific configuration of this one. So I think we could go into settings maybe ah there it is this one has 32 gigabytes of ram with all that same stuff i just mentioned the cpu frequency at least reported here on steam os is 5.1 gigahertz so for being a mobile processor in a device this small granted it's not the lightest thing in the world is powerful the thing does weigh 930 grams without this little controller that i added to it now when it comes to this controller they don't actually or anybody nobody <laughs> makes a controller like this in this form factor, the size for a tablet this large. And you can see the color difference here. It's actually a modified version of a GameSir G8 Plus. Now this, you could buy this little expansion thing by itself, or you could buy it already modified, which is what I went ahead and have done. And it definitely was not a cheap thing. You could see here, I got the controller expansion kit and buttons. So you could see $149. And then I think the controller by itself is like 80 bucks. If you just get the controller and the kit together, it's 139. Might as well pay the extra 10 bucks to have them do the heavy lifting for you. But this does expand it. So it supports up to, look at that. 13 inches of uh, width. And I mean like this game sir thing is supposed to be for phones. And if I drop my phone in there, you can see that that's just silly. So it's really cool that th this is even possible. Uh, Steam OS is running great on here. And I mean, if you hold it kind of normal like this, it does have a little weight to it, but it doesn't get too heavy over time. I mean, probably about after like 45 minutes to an hour, you're really gonna start feeling it and you're gonna start kind of, but for the most part, it's working good and it's just dramatic and I thought it was cool and I thought it was something worth sharing with you guys. I've been using it to play like War Thunder here and there. It's very immersive on something this large and then uh, Fall Guys, Splitgate. You can play Cyberpunk on it with no issues. I got Skyrim on here. That's a pretty good experience. And on screen or at least on the B-roll, you should see all like the frame rates and everything like that. I don't have notes of it and, but you can see it on screen. So yeah, that, that is my ultimate steam deck. If you're interested in any of these products, I'll have a uh, Amazon affiliate links down below, as well as links to the recovery image for steam OS. If that's something you're interested in, and my previous video covering this tablet and installing a uh, Linux on it, which I think Gnome Fedora is what I ended up deciding what kind of works the best with it but obviously you could probably use whatever you would like. So with all that, I do hope you have an absolutely beautiful day and Good. Bye.